Well, dear friends and fellow Africans, greetings all. Uh, we are here to seek solutions of our problems. So today I want to discuss about the root causes of conflict in Africa, according to my opinion. Uh, according to me, uh, the main causes of conflict in Africa is because Africa, we are not own our resources. When we are talking about resources, we are talking about rent, we are talking about minerals, we are talking about uh, means of production, industries. So all these, many of them are not owned by, by Africans. And that's why today you see the place where there is natural resources, there is a conflict. Because the people are so hungry to see the foreigner one person can come and own all resources in a certain place. Today we are talking about xenophobic attack in South Africa. That is because many young people are not involving in uh, economic activities. There is no enough land for those young men and women in South Africa to do activity so they think those who are coming from other side of the continent are coming to take their job look on the country such as congo the country with uh richest richest resources uh, country in this world yes we get we discover resources yes we say we have no technology we call maybe one company to come and exploit those natural resources. So the people who are living in that place has been chased their way to, uh, uh, to allow activity to be done. For instance, someone has their house or some people are lived, lived there uh, for many times. Their ancestors have been lived there for many times. Yes, we must allow development. But we need to include these people in those projects. Maybe if investors are coming to a certain place, we need also to allow the people in that place to be the part of investment. But some of the, uh, in some places are not allowed. We have seen, for instance, in Africa, and this is so amazing and painful. Africa, we are keeping our animals. But we are allowing the foreigner to come and hunting the weed animal. But we are not allowing Africans to go to the uh, weed or national parks to hunt those animals. So we, we are just only keeping for the benefit of others. Yes, it attracts uh, uh, tourists if you allow the people to to go and uh, maybe hunt, they will finish everything. Yes, we are not allowing that. But there is a need for the people also to enjoy the fruits of those animals. Look today, when there is good land and horrible land, we find investors from outside of the continent, from China, from Europe, from America. Single man with a lot of money will come and invest in that place. But remember, in that area, on that village, there are uh, many people. The citizens are there, but they don't have a capital. But those areas have been used by them for, for, for all of their lives, since their ancestors. But when it comes, one investor, they have been taken away. They are not allowed to enter in that area. They are not allowed to do any activities in that area. What do you expect? The people will lie out. The people will start fighting to make sure that they, uh, they, they take back their, their resources. And this is the many causes. Yes, we know there is another cause. But the people are forced to do so because they see they have nothing to lose. They have already lost everything. So they have nothing to lose. Today you see our young men and women are running away from the continent of Africa. 
So some of them who remain here in the continent, they started to fight each other. So when someone come and give them small amount, train them, they will start fighting. But if we allow them to be a part of investment, to be a part of the uh, resources owner, they will not engage in these conflicts. The people, they don't see the benefit of these, uh, of, of these resources. Yes, we say we have built a good lord, we have built a story. Look at the people in the, in the village, they don't benefit from the story in the city. Sometimes the people are not eating the lords. Yes, we build a stadium. Not all of them, they want the stadiums. People, they need water. They need the food. They need to be free to do their all their activities. There are some places where the people discovered uh, God, but when they, they discover the government come and stopping them. Why the government didn't uh, build the capacity for them to extract more instead of chasing them away and finding investors? You can collect the tax even from those indigenous people. Not only tax can be collected from investors. Why we didn't allow these uh, people to extract their resources, then sell or sold or process and sold to the to that who uh, is investors? Why we want investors to do to come and do everything here in the continent? Why we don't allow and build the capacities? for our people to do uh, things that can be done by investors. You know, if we allow this, it means we are going to provide limited employment. But if you, uh, you, you allow our people and build the capacity to our, your people, it means you are going to create employment. Today we are, we are relying on government to provide employment. We are relying on maybe private sectors. But private sector is to, to provide and building capacity to, to, to our young men and women so that they can create their own employment instead of waiting uh, maybe government. And this as as I said, this is the source of conflict in, in the continent of Africa. That's why every place where there is a natural resources, there is a conflict. When we discover oil, you call total and other companies to come and extract. You're not allowing Africans to do so. Why we cannot take the Africans to go to get knowledge about extraction, extraction of oil? Why we can't do so? Yes, we have some of them who have done. Yes, we can allow maybe to try to extract here and and those total and other companies can help us to build the capacities of our people to extract oil on other places. But you can find in a single country uh, a one company, maybe mining company, own almost all mine, all mining in the countries, a single company. But they come as investors and we say, these are investors, they are providing employment. Yes, we, we, we're in good and we people need employment. But remember, our people need to be also a part of investment. When Africa will become a, an investors, when Africa will go to Europe and invest in Europe, when Africa, especially African people, will go to America and starting to extract oil in America, to extract the oil in China. When? When Africa will go to America and do agriculture activities, when? But here in Africa, they have done it. Chinese are extracting timber in, in Congo. At the end of the day, they come to sell furniture to us. Why we can't process our furniture here in the continent? Let's say Congo has good uh, timber. Let us Congo be the hub of uh, uh, furniture production in this continent, so that all timber we need to, or all furnitures we need to to, to to use in our office must come from maybe Congo, even in the country-wise. 
there are some places in the country where there is timber production. Why we can't use that places? Say, we don't need to import maybe uh, furniture from China. We can build capacities to our people to create their own furniture here in, in, in the continent. Today we are talking about our children are sitting down on the floor. While in Africa we have all kinds of trees. But some schools in Africa, the children has no chair, has no table. You can wonder why. So do you expect these children, when they grown up, will love you? Sometimes we create our own problems. So we need to own our resources. If we own our resources, it will make Africans to start engaging and to see the ownership of those resources. Today, many Africans, they didn't see the ownership of resources. Yes, we say we have, we have God. Are they Africans be a part of those God? Are they Africans enjoying God? We have horrible land. Are we Africans, people from schools, engaging in agriculture? So we need to allow the people to, uh, to own their resources. When the people discover maybe natural resources, don't chase them away. Build the capacity to them. I'm talking to this because uh, if you look many places where there is a conflict, there is resources. We are talking about maybe conflict in Nigeria, in Boko, with the Boko Haram there, there is oil there. Mozambique there, there is oil there. Congo, everyone knows about Congo. Congo has cotton, has cobalt, has diamond, has God, everything. Mobile minerals that are used to create this smartphone are found in Congo. But look at Congo today. Congo has not at peace. Why? That's the question. Why? We need to allow the people to be the ownership of these resources. If you take the companies from outside, the company they come with their, uh, their their rules. Those rules sometimes distract the people. They you take the, the area, they take the area of the people. They push mm, the indigenous people backward. They force us to be westernized. So almost it hurt our culture. So some of the people who want to preserve their culture, they will start to fight. So, for all these to uh, to stop conflict in uh, the continent and to reduce some conflict, let us make Africa to be the ownership of these resources. Yes, we need investors, but I see that the way we are taking loans to build the Lord, the way we are taking loans to build our uh, our big office in the government in private sectors. Let us take the same loan to give to the young people who have a knowledge in industries, in agriculture, in, uh, in technology, to perform and to show their abilities. That will help many young Africans to engage in economic activities than today. So today we are waiting someone to come and invest in. When we, we talk about the NH, we say we don't have a capital. We don't have a capacity. When we Africa, we have a capacity to do so. So that was my opinion. I think we need to hone our resources so that Africa, many of us, we can engage in economic activities instead of engaging in conflict. If you have nothing, it means you have nothing to lose. It will be easy someone to come and take you to the bad activity. So, thank you for watching. Please, if you have something, add in the comment section. We are here to 
provide solutions for our problems. We want to see better Africa. We want to build the future of our continent. Better Africa is built by Africans. So let us build the Africa we want. Thank you. Thank you.